right. So what I said was 2020, 2021, fifth grade promotion, no more technical difficulties. Let's have a wonderful session here. Let's see how it goes. special as we can. Um, today we're going to start with a few things. We're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance in just one second and then the Star Spangled Banner. We do that to honor our country. Uh, we do that to honor our president, whether we 100% love our president or even like our president. We always should um, be behind our president because he's running our country, regardless of what party you are in. That being said, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a seat. I thought long and hard about how to do this today. And, um, I, I, won't, I won't lie. I, I really do, um, deep down inside, enjoy having all of your parents here, seeing you take your first step. I reminded you all yesterday, you have done absolutely nothing, right? You have finished fifth grade and are moving on to West Bloomfield Middle School. For that, I'm super proud of you, but I'm not throwing a party or anything like that, all right? You did step one. The foundation that we talked about yesterday that you've had since kindergarten with Gretchko and Scotch, the foundation has been laid. It's up to you what you're going to put on top of that foundation. All right. You work hard. You put in effort. You will get out exactly what you put in. All right. I promise you that. You slack. You watch Instagram and YouTube and all the other stuff that's going to be invented that we don't know about. You'll get what you get. Don't, don't throw a fit. Okay. So... I was thinking about what to write. What do I send you off with? And um, during COVID, this long 15 months that uh, YouTube and videos were all over the internet, I came across Admiral McRaven. If you have not ever seen Admiral McRaven speak, he is a 15-time decorated Admiral in the Navy. Um, and he is a former Navy SEAL. And he put out his top 10 things to know in life. So I have 100% stolen that. Uh, and I tried to kind of make it uh, elementary friendly. Does that make sense? All right. So these are top 10 things that General or Admiral McRaven thinks. And then I have adapted um, in my view as a principal that I think we should do. Make sense? All right. Number one. Now, this may sound simple. But it's super important. Make your bed, clean up your room, and put your dish in the dishwasher. Not on the counter, not in the sink, but rinse it and then in the dishwasher, which in most houses is only like a foot away from the sink. You know that? 
Yeah. And how often do you raise your hand? Be honest. Leave it right on the counter for mom and dad to take. Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay. So hands down. Why is this important? Because you do the simple tasks all day long, like make your bed in the morning when you get up, pick up your clothes off your floor, throw them in the hamper, and you move on. So you do these little tasks over and over, and they make the harder ones that much easier. And then at the end of the day, when you've had the worst day you'll ever have, you can come home and the little things are done. Your bed's made. There's not garbage all over your floor, clothes and others. And there's no dishes on the, the counter or the sink. You got, you got a fresh start, at least with those little things, okay? Doing the little things makes the bigger ones easier. So everyone must paddle. I couldn't come up with a good one to steal for this because I was trying to figure out how this would work. But he's a Navy SEAL, so everybody gets in the, you know, the boat and they all paddle together. But it makes sense when you think about it. Find good people in your life to help you paddle. Right? Whether it's family, whether it's friends, whomever it might be. There's a song and Pitbull says in it, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. I'm not usually one to quote hip hop artists, but it's so true. If it wasn't for my friends, I probably wouldn't be standing here today. All right. You are who you hang out with. So if you are hanging out with individuals who get in trouble, guess what's inevitably, inevitably going to happen to you? You're going to get in trouble. You are who your friends are, and you all must be paddled. Okay. Nothing matters but your will. All right. Nothing matters but you will. Number three, keep this sacred and protected. It is not the size of your house, it's the size of your heart. All right. Doesn't matter what kind of car you drive, doesn't matter where you get to go to school, it's what's in here that matters. How do you treat others? How do you want to be treated? Okay, how hard do you work? Not the size of your house, the size of your heart. Number four, usually, no matter how hard you try something the first time, you're gonna fail. Now, don't get me wrong. Some years I'll take like eight months of golf off and I'll come out and I'll get to that first hole and I haven't hit a ball all year and that ball goes 280 some yards down the center of the fairway. And I'm like, ah. This is the year. I'm gonna, I'll be a scratch golfer by the end of summer. And inevitably by the fifth hole, I am ready to throw my club as far as I can throw it. Okay, because I can't hit the ball straight or off the tee, no matter how hard I try. Because golf is one of those things. Now there are gonna be other things. Has anyone ever tried to ride a unicycle? Were you successful the first time that you got on it? No. But if you wanna do something, you have to work at it. And you have to try harder and harder and put in the effort. So don't worry about failing. It's not how many times you fall on the unicycle golf course or in life. It's how many times you get back up. Five, life is filled with circuses. I was gonna switch this, right? Cause I'm like circuses, how does that work? And nowadays they're all getting shut down because of PETA anyways, but life is filled with circuses. Would you consider COVID-19 um, being a uh, circus? Was it crazy? Was there a lot going on and you didn't understand everything? Clowns running around, unicorns, horses, uh, elephants, uh, little people on the, I mean, all kinds of madness going on. Elephant ears, okay? Ones you eat, not the ones on the elephant. And that's a circus. So how do you deal with the circus, right? Do you go into your room and pull your covers up over your head or do you figure it out? You guys figured it out, I don't know. I think from the help of some of your teachers here, but you figured it out. For that, I'm proud, all right? So when life hands you a circus, go in the tent, look around. Is this the one you wanna be in and how are you gonna deal with it? Because you're gonna go through many circuses. Go down the slide head first, number six. Now, don't do that really, because if you're outside of this rainbow season, you'll be in my office. But it's the same, take chances. Don't be scared of everything. If you do that, you're never gonna know what you can or can't accomplish. If you're worried about trying out for the dance team or for cheerleading or for basketball or football or baseball, but you're like, ah, I just don't think I'll make it. Well, how would you know? Hindsight's 2020. You can always look back and say, man, I wish I would have tried out for that. Or man, I wish I would have done that. Try it. 
take chances. Don't really go down the slide at first because you'll probably end up with switches and stuff. But in light, go down at first every once in a while. Seven. This one for him was sharks are in the water. So I changed that to bullies are always out there. Okay. And they are. I, you guys have been with me for three years. I really dislike the word bully. Okay. But people can be jerks and you're going to run into it. So how do you deal with it? My advice, confront and help when you can. You're not always going to be in a position where you can help. But when you are, help those that are maybe weaker than you or that you that are perceived to be or that could use a hand. Help those that are less fortunate than yourselves. All right. In the end, it won't make you feel better, but it will make you feel good about what you did that day. Eight. Step up when times are tough. You'll see in life, you're going to come to time, you're going to come to things and situations that are not easy. All right. Do you want to be your best self or your worst self? Step up when you need to, whether it's with school, at home. I know with a 16 year old and a 14 year old at home, there are not many nights that go by that um, arguing or strong suggestions of behavior. Uh, are dealt with, okay? Whether it is the room, whether it is the phone, or whether it is home. And it would be so much nicer as if every day, everybody stepped up a little bit and did their piece without having to be reminded. Think about that when you go home. The power of hope. Never give up hope. Number nine, the power of hope. Why? What's the alternative? If you have no hope, what do you have to look forward to? What do you have to hope, I mean, hope for? All right, there are so many things that you were going to go through in your life. Look forward to them. Have hope. Be excited. It's important. Because one person really can change the world. And when you tell me they can't, I'm sorry, they can't. There's too many articles written about them. And there's too many movies made. One person can make a difference. And I hope for all of you that's you. Number 10. Never ring the bell. Now we have a beautiful bell outside that I ring every Friday, signify the end of school. Okay, I get it. This is more about Navy SEALs boot camp. When you are in Navy SEALs and you're at Buds, um, you and obviously I'm very into Navy SEALs, but whatever. Um, and you are at the training, if you quit, you go and you ring the bell. That means you're done and you're out. You don't want to participate anymore. I'm telling you, don't ring the bell. Don't quit. Quitting gets you nowhere. All right. No one wants to see a quitter. No one wants to be a quitter. No one wants to wake up the next morning and feel like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have quit. All right. There are going to be times when you're on teams, when you're in groups, when you want to quit everything that you're doing. Don't do that. Figure out what's wrong. Look inside. See what you can do differently. Because you're going to run into teachers, you're going to run into adults and friends that you're going to want to quit on. But the most important thing out of all of those is don't quit on yourself. Keep moving forward. Does that make sense? You do half of those 10 things, and I'll be impressed with what happens to you guys. Because I know you have a bright future. I know you're going to do great things. Mrs. Hughes and Mrs. Graff are extremely excited to see you at West Bloomfield Middle School next year. And I know you guys are going to love it. I thank you for three wonderful years. I, I said this before, and I, I'll keep saying it. You're one of the most sweetest classes I've ever had. You really do take care of one another, and I look forward to seeing how you do that in middle school. At this time, we're going to begin our promotion ceremony, and if Mrs. Vantage could please come up, she will begin passing out to uh, her classroom. She will enter the stage here, and if I could have Ms. Vantage's class, please stand and approach the stage. Riley Armstrong. Jaden Barish.
Xaviana Black. Delaney Brager. Ross Tripoli. Hunter DeGrant. Brian Amir. Alexandra Hughes. Graham Kubiak. Dragos Leskett. Samora Petty. Alexa Squikowski. Madden Tovar. Stella Randall. Kylie Yen. Great job, Ms. Vance's class. At this time, if I could have Ms. Mason's class, please stand and approach the stage. I love the goes again. Elizabeth Brandon. Jace Stenson. Joseph Espinoza. Mason Frankfurt. Lovely Pecker. Ruth Avendo. Alexander Kennedy. Carol Ladd. Stefan Muska. Kate O'Malley. Dominic Peterson. Carla 
Carson Kiefer. Stella Sachs. Great job, Ms. Mason's class. At this time, if I could please have Mrs. Wright's class stand and approach the stage. Ms. Wright will come up and say her name. Olivia Berman. Benny Dia. Zachary Garmo. Mia Joya. Sylvia Gutierrez. Liam Jones. Natasha Hammer. Brady May. Mary and Isaac. Sophia Novo. William Corpus, he's not here. Luke Tortos. Lisa Venturini. At this time, if the fifth graders of Scotch Elementary School can please stand. Teachers and yourself have your envelopes underneath your seat like we talked about yesterday. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. See? Remember, we are a four-time national showcase school for capturing kid stars. All right. We don't get that based off of the fact that I call up and ask to be that. All right. Roughly half of the percentage points they put together to see if you are going to be one is based on the survey that we send you guys and what you think the school is like. Are your teachers engaged with you? Have they tried to make relationships even during a pandemic with you? All right. And I have never been more pleased. I'm extremely hard on the three fifth grade teachers that stand before you. And that is because I used to teach fifth grade for nine years and it holds a special place in my heart. I got to see it with, you know, this was the kid that were getting promoted off to middle school for nine years. And I wanted every year to be special for I want the same for you. I don't want to do it, but I want it to be special. So I put a lot of pressure on them to do things like 
Monday when they took you guys out outside. You guys did three projects that we weren't even sure if you were going to be able to do this. To be honest with you, because everybody was so scared to be around each other or near each other. And they've done countless other things that go unseen and that I don't know about and I hear secondhand about. But I believe the students should stand right now and honor the three individuals that worked their tails off this year. So if you could do that now, give them a round of applause. It's not an easy job and it's thankless most of the time. So when you can affirm somebody, right? And that's a big part of this school is doing affirmations, right? When you can do that, do it. Say compliments. Tell people they look nice. Notice when your husband gets a haircut. Wait, that's my life. <laughs> Be good to one another. It'll help. It'll make things a heck of a lot easier. I wish you nothing but success. And if you give me one minute webinar, people, I'm going to try and come down uh, and film the kids leave. So let's see how this works. At this time, if the fifth graders of 2020, 2021 could please stand. Let's hear it. Are you guys excited to go to middle school? All right, let's give yourselves one more round of applause. All right, that's it. Um, I'm definitely no um, director or um, any type of filmer or filmographer or videographer, but uh, I hope you guys got it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if nothing else, know that how much we care about your fifth graders and we wish them nothing but the best as they move on to middle school. Love you all. And I'm sorry we had to end it this way, um, but I am happy that we got to end it. <laughs> Take care, be safe, love you guys.